So we've chosen a piece each and are thinking about what set of pieces we would use to develop the technique needed for it. So what uh, the technique you've chosen is dynamics, and which piece were you thinking about particularly? Um, particularly... As sort of your end, like if you were trying to improve the dynamics in X piece, you would use Y, Z and double A pieces to make oh, it better. Oh, uh, maybe waltz. Waltz, okay, great. Sorry, so or, yeah, yeah, okay, waltz, yeah. Yeah, or? Uh, minuet, like minuet two. Yep, okay, so let's play waltz, mm -hmm. and then we'll think about it from that. Let's play waltz. Distance from 
exactly, yeah, exactly, that bit. So yeah. I was going to say also, when you played earlier, I used less bow for the beginning and the quiet bits because your bow speed didn't change that much. Yeah. Uh, and you might be able to counteract that by using much less weight, but the kids, mm -hmm. the, the, the speed is the thing that they find easiest to change. Yeah. Their weight is the thing they're developing how to change at this speed, at this point, but they will not be able to do big bows really quietly. And you don't want them to. Okay. Um, good. And so Musari would play, partic pay particular attention to the quiet parts. And then can you think of an exercise that you would do to get them ready for waltz where you have to put it all together? Because it's the first time, so we don't have a piece that kind of does that. Mm -hmm. um. What do the examiners and your students always want if you're looking for an example of how to work on something? So how can you use Twinkle to develop that change in dynamics? You could do a big crescendo throughout the whole Twinkle. That would be a very long drawn out okay, crescendo. Um, just make it simpler. If you were in your lesson or you were in a group lesson, you could just do... Sort of organic dynamics, so louder when it gets... Absolutely, louder. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or to copy me, you can see whether I'm playing loud or quiet from the amount of bow I'm using. Um, or, uh, you know, we can do the, uh, you know, if you had a group where, if you're playing Twinkle, they would all have a go, but if you're playing mm -hmm. um, a, a piece that someone couldn't play, or you have a little observer who want who whatever someone who can't do it, you could get them to show what dynamics they want everyone else to play. Um, any of the things like that that would help them. And if you wanted to develop it to be even more to do with waltz, G major would be good, and this rhythm.
patching motion with the open strings.
saw her looking at her wrist and that was the bit we were just <laughs> discussing. Right, so what would you do to develop that? Um, so I would go backwards from the back or? However you'd like to talk about I it. I would do stop playing, stop playing. Excellent. Very good. At the same, I will start off playing. Just because it's the first time we've got the slow snap rip. Um, I would do a bit of minor where the key changes. Oh, what, what now? Um,